Yo, what's up? My name is Franco and welcome back to another video where I teach you different stretches to deal with aches and pains that gamers deal with. I've learned these things working as a physical therapy tech in the army and when I'm not doing that, I'm, I spend a lot of time at this desk playing games and streaming on Twitch and looking at stuff on the internet. Today I'm gonna to be talking about neck pain and let me tell you, pain sucks regardless. I'm, I'm not here to say that one is worse than the other, but for me personally, it is extremely annoying when I'm dealing with neck pain because I never quite appreciate just how many things are affected by a sore neck. But fear not, because there's tons of things that you can do and I've got you covered. You can do these stretches when you're feeling pain or when your neck's feeling stiff, or when you're not feeling anything at all and you just wanna get ahead of the game and do something to prevent it from hurting in the future. There's no magic number as far as how long you hold these stretches. Some people hold them for 10 seconds, some people longer. Ideally, it would tell you to hold these stretches for about 30 seconds to a minute. But if you can't do it for that long, or if that's not long enough for you, that's fine. Tailor it to what works best for you, because everyone is different. If you feel any pain when you do these stretches, sometimes that's totally normal. Stretching just kind of hurts sometimes. It's, it can be a little uncomfortable. So here's what I say. If you do a stretch or if you do some sort of activity and it kind of hurts, but that pain goes away within 30 seconds or a minute of you stopping the activity, well then that's totally fine. But if you do a stretch and it hurts super bad and in an hour or the next day it's still hurting, you're doing something wrong. Stretching may hurt sometimes, but we don't want to make it worse. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. This stretch is... <laughs> This stretch is not gonna do me any favors. If you feel like you look silly doing this, you probably do, most people do. But it's kind of the center for a lot of the stretches that I'm gonna show you after this. So let's do it. The best way to explain this stretch is it's like you're trying to give yourself a double chin. Start off by putting your fingers on your chin. This is gonna kind of help you visualize the motion of your head as you do this. Now, when I say chin tuck to a lot of people, they automatically do this. And that's not what I want you to do. Chin tuck is almost gonna be like you're going straight back. Like I said, like you're giving yourself a double chin. So put your fingers on your chin and move your head straight back. If you were standing with your back pressed against the wall, this motion would flatten the back of your neck flush with that wall. Now, all these stretches that we're about to do, try and do them with this chin tuck initiated, but if you can't because it's kind of a weird motion to get down, well then you're still gonna be able to feel the stretches without it, it's just not gonna be as intense or as effective. If you can't get the chin tuck, just keep practicing and maybe consider doing it against the wall. That's gonna help you feel what it's supposed to feel like. While the chin tuck will help you stretch out some of your neck muscles, it's not really intended to be a stretch on its own. It's just kind of a starting point for all the other stretches. We'll start things off by moving your neck in all the directions that it's capable of moving. We can start with forward and backwards by moving your head all the way forward and then slowly moving it all the way back. If you wanna apply a little extra pressure as you move your head down, you can use your hands to do that. Next up is side to side. Imagine like you're trying to touch your ear to your shoulder. Go ahead and move back and forth between shoulder to shoulder. The last one is gonna be rotation. This is as if you're turning your head to look to something to your right or left. Just like the others, go back and forth between the two sides until you feel like you've warmed up. To start this next one, pick a side that you wanna stretch and put that arm behind your back. Once you've done that, you're gonna bend your neck away from the side that's behind your back and you can use your hand to apply some overpressure if you'd like. Just make sure that you don't do it too intensely because you can hurt yourself if you stretch too far. Imagine like you're trying to touch your ear to your shoulder, and that'll keep everything aligned while you perform this stretch. Begin this next one by picking a side that you want to stretch. Go ahead and sit on the hand that's on that side and start leaning away from it, and you should feel a nice pull on your neck. Once you've done that and you're feeling a gentle pull on your neck, you can take your other hand and increase the stretch by gently pulling down on your head. Just like some of the other stretches, imagine like you're trying to touch your ear to your shoulder. Once you're in this position, Turn your head and look straight down into the ground. This is the final position of this stretch, and by now you should be feeling it pretty good. Stretches like this and the others are gonna help you improve your posture if you're someone who has bad head position when they're sitting or standing. For this last one, you're gonna pick a side that you wanna stretch again. Take the opposite side hand and put it right on your collarbone. Once you've done this, bend your neck the opposite direction of your hand, again, like you're trying to touch your ear to your shoulder. Here's where it gets a little more complicated. I want you to look over your shoulder, almost like you're trying to look behind you. Once you're in that position, I want you to turn your head like you're trying to look straight up. 
Once you've reached that position, you should feel some tension under your fingers where you put your hand on your collarbone. That's because that's where this muscle starts, and then you should feel the stretch up your neck to where it ends. Some of these stretches are kind of hard to do, so you may need to practice them a few times. Did they help? Are you feeling any better? If you're saying like, yeah, yeah, totally, or like, no, I think I still need to do some more, well then go back, watch it again, favorite this video, come back to it, just keep doing these sort of things because pain isn't something that we just get rid of overnight or with one stretch. It's something that we work on over time and that can be frustrating, but just know that you're here, you're doing something about it, you're making a difference, you're, you're taking an active part in something that's bothering you or something that's, that's causing you pain or holding you back from doing something that you love like playing video games without having to worry about, oh man, I hope I don't turn too fast or something. If you did like this video, I'm not gonna beg you to like and subscribe, but I will ask you, send this video to a friend who might be dealing with neck pain as well. And if they're not dealing with neck pain, I have a bunch of other videos that cover different parts of the body. Who knows, they might find something helpful and you might be the person that allows them to gather some information that allows them to live with less pain. That's pretty awesome. I do it for a job and it feels great. So you have the opportunity to do it with your family or friends and I promise you, you're gonna feel pretty awesome. This is the last video of my stretch series or at least the first part of it because I definitely want to revisit this and give you guys more stretches that you can do. Maybe not limited to just your desk or the couch, but I don't know, like two feet over there on the ground. This isn't the end. Uh, I got more ideas, I promise you. Going forward, I wanna continue bringing you content that combines these two worlds of health and gaming, but not in a preachy, judgy way. I wanna do it in my own way. I am far from the perfect example of health. Sometimes I, I eat like crap, my, my posture isn't as good as it should be, especially for someone who works in physical therapy. Uh, I struggle with motivation, I struggle with bad sleep habits and pain of my own. I struggle with these things just like everybody else, but I've always tried to learn how to improve my situation, and then I start trying to apply that here and there, wherever I can, to make changes in my life. The fact that you're watching this or any of my other videos means that you are making those changes. You're taking those first steps. You're moving forward and nobody can say shit about that. So wherever you're at in your journey, I'm glad that I could come along with you. I'm glad that I could bring you information that helps you along the way and I'm glad that we could work on this together. I wanna to continue bringing you information that helps you move towards your goals, whatever they may be, whether it's to lose weight, how to stretch better, how to get stronger, how to set up your desk more ergonomically, or what chair or desk you wanna buy. There's a lot of information that I wanna cover, and this is just the start. So I hope you're just as excited as I am about what's next, because I'm all in. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Doing some hand stretches.